Hello, my beautiful people of the internet, and you're probably wondering, what in the world is on my face? I'll tell you what's on my face. This is a Google Cardboard. It's a little thing that you put your phone into. As you can see, my phone is in here, right there. And it splits the screen up into two different images, which you're seeing here, two different images. Um, what I've got on the screen right now is Portal, and Portal doesn't naturally have... 3D support, but I have a program on my computer called Tridef 3D, which can turn any DirectX game into a, a 3D playable game. You can use this for Google Cardboard, Oculus Rift, 3D glasses. Yeah, I have 3D glasses because I'm a freaking nerd. Um, 3D TVs, the stereoscopic ones I have to have the glasses for. Dual projector, basically any form of 3D, and it's amazing, and I love it, and here we go. I expect to get very dizzy doing this, so, you know, hopefully that'll make for an interesting, interesting episode here. Um, I'm going to do the bonus maps, because I've already beaten the game, I beat it the first day I had it. And I've already done a lot of these, but I'm going to start from level 1. Technically, 13. Ah. There we go. And guys, it actually... I mean, it's a little bit laggy, but besides that, it feels like I'm there. Which is amazing. Okay, here we go. And as you can see... I mean, I'm controlling it. Like, it's not really that horribly difficult. It helps that I know what I'm doing, as well. Because I've already beaten this level before. Um, yeah. Okay, so I got that, which means I need to jump through here. And you see, it is totally playable. And, like, I'm serious, guys. It feels like I'm there. Oh, and I died. Okay, dying is kind of weird, because you get put in here, and it's like, oh my god, where am I? You just reload. You know, MBD. Alright, try this again. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm actually not getting as dizzy as I used to. I call that progress. One benefit of this, um, over the Oculus Rift, is that, well, it actually has a few benefits. One is that it's basically free, which is amazing. Um, okay, what am I supposed to do here? What does this do? Ah, uh, okay, I know what to do. I have to go up here. Right, a benefit of this is you use your own phone, which practically makes it free. I mean, not really free, because you have to have a phone, but... But more or less free. What the heck? Okay. And I beat a level. You use your own phone which is awesome. As you can see, it's completely wireless. I have nothing tethering me to my computer, which is amazing. And if you're a lot more crafty than I am, you can even um, use your phone's LED, your, your camera light, camera flash, as a form of head tracking. Use your standard webcam and do some head tracking with that, so you know you, you would get the freedom of looking around. I don't have that, sadly, but I well, I don't have it in this game. I have it in some of my other games. And, like, for real, it's really, really cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Uh, where am I? There. 
Anyway, it is a little bit laggy. That's the one spot where the Oculus Rift actually beats this. But besides that, I mean, it is so cheap, guys. You use your own phone, which you can get a phone with a plan, right? A data plan, and it's not actually that expensive. Okay. The lag is kind of beating me here. So, hold on, actually, because I think I know what's going on. Alright, am I recording? Yeah, I am. So, I think I got it. Good enough, anyway. I'm just gonna have to deal with the lag, because I'm clearly not getting rid of it this way. Uh, okay, so, I think it's because I'm recording, because usually it's not this bad. Like, at all. Usually it's awesome, actually. What the heck? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep talking. So, it's way cheaper than the Oculus, which is amazing. Because anyone who wants to get into VR and doesn't have the money can just do this. And I love that. I love that aspect. It's so cool, and it's like, this is the future of gaming, for real. The fact that anyone can go out and pick up virtual reality for pretty much free, that's awesome. Alright, what am I doing? Eh? No. Eh. Aiming is a little hard, because I've basically got two, um, two cursors, which makes things very difficult. Okay, I need to get over there. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> whoops, try that again. Okay, well that needs to stay there. What am I doing? And it's really fun, guys. Like, y you should try this. It's so fun that you should try it. Okay. Let's get this over there. Or really way back there. That's probably good. Woo! Ha ha! Toro! Okay, so that's good. That's gonna bounce around for a while and it needs to go right there. Almost. Close enough, okay. And this will get me to the end. Alright, so two levels, that's pretty good. After this, the levels get a lot harder and I am not ready to do that. To do that, to do that, to do that with this thing on. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. Ah, dang. Whew. <laughs> thank you for watching. Spread the word of my existence as always. And, yeah, good day. And I'm back, because I forgot to mention something. Um, I said that it's laggy. It's only laggy, really, with old phones like mine. And this is a Galaxy S3, which came out a few years ago, I think. But I've tried it on a Galaxy S5 and an LG G2, both of which are a lot faster than mine. And on them, on the S5, I'm actually getting a higher resolution on the phone, and it renders faster, which really enhances the experience. It's like, I think it was like 11 milliseconds and 1080p. So 11 milliseconds from my computer to the phone. <clears throat> Whereas on this thing, 50 milliseconds 
for 720p, which ugh, is awful. So, I will be getting a new phone eventually, which means I will be using this guy, or actually probably this guy, my homemade one, a lot more. So, just thought that'd be kind of a good side note to include at the end of the video. Goodbye, have a good day.